welcome back so in this lecture i want to talk about one important concept in cypress so you should not get panic when you see that specific error so let me go back to this page earlier in one of the lecture i told you that if you want to switch tab that cypress cannot handle the child window right similarly do remember that instead of opening in child tab if it opens as child window like this that also cypress cannot handle so the only suggestion what they were giving is when you think that on clicking any button open separate window instead copy that url and then you can directly hit on your page okay so if your target is to work on this url why do you need to their argument cypress guys argument is that okay we don't support it but there is a work around so ultimately you want to work on this url then why can't you hit that url directly up at this page okay you did some validations here like check boxes radio buttons and then you want to work on the new window so you should know that window url prior to write your automation test right so they were asking us to directly hit that url instead of uh, clicking this button which will open as another window okay they were asking to do this because cypress is not supporting child windows that's the only reason and few other people give another suggestion that how do you get the url of which you want to navigate now for example um open tab if you spy here this is the url if there is any link there will be definitely href attribute which will be assigned to that link and for that href attribute you will have the url uh, to which your a uh, button click will navigate so they were suggesting us to grab this href href attribute take this link and then hit cy dot visit of that link you got my point right so let me explain you um i'll take the note pad let's say there is a button or link on clicking that will open in separate child window or child tab both are considered as same so earlier we have removed target attribute so that on clicking that button we directly navigated to that page okay so that is one way and the another way is that if you know the href attribute of that link then you can grab that href attribute because that href attribute will have the url to which you have to navigate and you can use that to hit cy dot visit whatever href attribute you grab that url you can hit this so that you will be navigated to that specific page so you have two options here one is to click that url with this visit by grabbing href attribute one is to remove the target attribute which is set to that particular button now in this lecture i am going to show you how to get attribute value okay till now we have did we did not see this concept right grabbing the attribute value so how to grab the value and how to act upon that value we will check in this lecture and i will also show one important thing that cypress unfortunately is not supporting cross domain so there are so many restrictions cypress provides and do remember that all this restrictions is just because not cypress got matured their architecture is built in such a way that they will not allow few things which they which they think that it is a flaky or which may they think that it's a security issue so if you hit like this if your url is part of same domain then this second method works 
so this is first method right first method remove target attribute which we have already seen we are good so now second method is to grab the href attribute which we gonna do this but do remember that i'm going to show this method but ultimately this will not work for another reason so what that reason we will be knowing by end of this lecture and also you will know how to grab the attribute value so the purpose of this particular video is to tell you two important concepts one is to grab the attribute value and act upon it and another is one of the restriction of what cypress is providing us so follow me and you will understand why i am why i have chosen this topic for this lecture okay so test 7 so i can remove all this cy dot get if i want to get this open tab button we have id right so basically now instead of deleting target attribute and handling that i want to grab this href attribute so that i can act upon this url okay now how to get attribute of href so href is attribute you need to get value associated with this attribute cypress do not have any specific command simply to get that attribute but they rely on the jquery object again so there is a jquery method or object which you have to get the attribute value the method is prop prop jquery so prop is a method which will help you to get the property value when i say property it's nothing but attribute it's pretty straightforward right you can read from the documentation that this method will help you to get the value of the property so now we need to get the value of href property here so dot prop href will this work pause this video and just think a moment if i write like this will this work or not it will not work why this is non cypress command and this is cypress command if you concatenate non cypress to cypress then cypress will not resolve promise for you because there is some non cypress stuff here and it get confused so it will not handle it's like text method what do we do for text method okay first you need to resolve the promise as it is jquery method and then act upon that promise to get access to your element now we resolve the promise and now on this e1 element now i am going to hit prop method so this time you will get the value so whatever value you get let's store it in one variable called url okay as i said return type you can use var or const in javascript okay now what property you are trying to retrieve if you simply pass property method cypress or jquery do not know to which property it has to pull so you have to give information of href so that href property value will be pulled up into this variable so you know how to hit any url using cypress this is cy dot visit this is one of the way to navigate to that link instead of being deleting the target okay so that's what cypress guys are suggesting but in this particular scenario this will not work i will show you why for now save this test test7.js cypress now will throw an error i will go through that error and explain you what is the problem okay you see that there is an error it have successfully got that url you can look at here 
now just to prove you that we have grabbed the url i will say cy.log url so that you will see the url what it got retrieved from href attribute let me save this again and go to test 7 look at here log qaclickacademy.com we have successfully pulled it but i am not able to hit that url through cypress why so they were saying that you are attempting to visit unique domain so when you actually say that i will be on rahulshettyacademy.com cypress stores that is your domain and now when you try to access another url as part of your test cypress assumes that whatever you urls you click that should be part of your original domain okay from rahulshettyacademy.com slash you can have any subdomains but it reads that your main domain should be still same but here it says that different subdomains are okay but unique domains are not subdomains are nothing but automation practice now rahulshetty.academy.com slash selenium practice if you do this it will work subdomains it will accept but when you change main domain with visit method then it will not accept okay look at here Previous domain you visited was Rahul Shetty and now you are attempting to visit QA Click Academy. So Cypress feels that there is some security hack happened. Okay, now let's say when you are in google.com and when you click on link, if it navigates to yahoo.com, um, sometimes there is more scope for security hack, right? So Cypress deliberately saying that we will not allow you to visit another domain on your original domain. Okay, so that's what they were saying. You may need to restructure some of your code to prevent this from happening. So you can learn more information from here. So that's the reason I have explained handling this child window using target attribute removing. Okay, so there is a way but I don't suggest you to follow this way to handle this because yeah why do we need to change the domain so this is dummy practice website and that's why we were changing the domain ideally we don't change the domain even if it changes you can handle it by removing target attribute but when you use visit method visit method is strictly prepared that when you have main domain and this visit method will not accept any super domain again okay so and now you know why i have chosen um, this approach removing target attribute approach to land on the new page but ideally cypress suggesting us to two methods assuming that you are clicking the link of the original domain okay anyways by this lecture you understood two concepts one is that you cannot use visit method for multiple domains and another is to how to get attribute value and how to act upon it using cypress all right thank you